I'm bringing him back right now. I'm glad you're an art professor who actually knows the difference between real art and garbage and the difference between just talking and actually saying something. So thanks for listening because you're trying to get at the truth and you know that at least I'm struggling to get at the truth. And in this case, I know what the truth is. Now, you ask the primary question, which is Obama incompetent or is he an idealist? I think he's both. And I think you would call him an incompetent idealist. And I think that we can leave it at that. And I thank you for the call. If, is she still on the line, the, the art professor? Yes, stay, stay on the line. And I'm going to send you government zero. We should be, get, be getting copies out in the very near future. 855 Now, we have to go now to Putin. Uh, there are different pronunciations of the president of Russia. Rasputin is the one I use. Some use a different a pronunciation. I actually see him as the savior of the Western world, by the way. I know many of you don't understand that, but I'll leave it to you to make your own decision. He has been fighting terrorism for quite a while. Listen to him in clip number five before the United Nations. Russia has always been consistently fighting against terrorism in all its forms. Today, we provide military and technical assistance both to Iraq and Syria and many other countries of the region who are fighting terrorist groups. We think it is an enormous mistake to refuse to cooperate with the Syrian government and its armed forces who are violently fighting terrorism face to face. We should finally acknowledge that no one but President Assad's armed forces and Kurds militia are truly fighting the Islamic State and other terrorist organizations in Syria. All right. Now, of course, that's half truths as well, given that he's a leader uh, of, an, of a major nation. They never tell you the truth, but it's half truths. But there are, there's some germs of truth in what he just said. Assad is a Stalinist, not an Islamist. The fact of the matter is Stalinists pose less of a threat to our survival than do Islamists. Let's start with that. They're both bad choices. I'd rather there be no Stalinists and no Islamists running countries. But I certainly would rather see Assad running Syria than ISIS running Syria. That's number one. And number two, having said that, what Putin just said is, I don't care what Obama says, I don't care what kind of tricks he tries to pull, Assad's not going. We're in to defend them. And goodbye, take a walk, go talk about global warming. They treat him like what he is. They know he's a, he is what he is. So let's leave it at that. I'm not speaking to you in a living room. Sometimes I forget that I'm not speaking to a group of friends in my own home or in a, a restaurant. But I get as close as I can on a national broadcast. How he gets away with what he gets away with is a result of people like Jake Woodpecker in the media. And he represents all of them. Jake Woodpecker in the media represents all of them. And as far as the opposition party goes, there is no opposition party. That's why John Boehner was just thrown out. Oh, yeah, I know he resigned, sure. He resigned because he was about to get thrown out, embarrassed, and a lot of dirty laundry would have come out during the uh, embarrassing hearings about John Boehner. We don't even know a quarter of what really went on. And speaking of Boehner, by the way, wait until you see what he does before he actually leaves at the end of the month, the end of October. You wait and see what this Benedict Arnold does to this country. All right, we are at a juncture that I normally... Invite you to call at 855-407-282. I invite you to look at the, the lead story that I've been talking about came to me from the Middle East. And by the way, it's an Israeli website, so far as I know, uh, Debka. It is an Israeli website. And it can be accurate or inaccurate depending upon the story. I don't see how they can be fabricating the passage of a Chinese nuclear aircraft carrier through the Suez Canal and arriving in Syria. I don't think that they would have made that up because they would have lost all credibility. But it's on michaelsavage.com on the top right. There's the picture. Chinese aircraft carrier joins Russia-Iran military buildup. And it's a story that's worth looking at. Russia surprises U.S. with a cord on battling ISIS. <laughs> that's the lead story out of the New York Times. Russia surprises U.S. with a cord on battling ISIS. You hear this? And look at Mr. Gump. Look at Mr. Gump, John Kerry. Take a look at the face that they got in that picture. It is the most incompetent, bumbling group I have ever seen in my life. And I'd be remiss if I didn't tell you to please check out Government Zero on the left side of the page. The headline is Savage Exposes Pope's Hidden Agenda, pages 192 to 219. And I will repeat, all thinking Catholics, please buy a, co buy a copy 
for the sheeple amongst you. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. Isn't it odd that here I am, a devout nationalist, supporting Putin over the president of this nation because he's really not the president of this nation, is he? Does he really represent our national interests when he's dissolved our sovereignty as best he can, wrecked our borders, stepped on our language, stepped on our culture, and all he wants to talk about is global warming, gay rights, you name the, the panoply of left-wing uh, items, and to start a war with Putin, which he's lost already. He thinks he's going to win the war against Putin. He just got outflanked because Putin and... Uh, the Russian premier and the Chinese premier and the Iranian maniacs have just joined together in a military uh, alliance against ISIS. And by the way, not only against ISIS, but against all of the stooge forces that we put on the ground in Syria to take down Assad. All of the idiots that we trained are going to disappear. So listen to now Samantha Powers, a woman who should have been fired a long time ago for incompetence, boasting on CNN how they've attacked Putin and how Putin is bending to Obama. Listen in clip eight. Well, isolating him has had profound effects, as you know, on Russia's economy and his own sense of stature on the international stage, which I think is why he's reaching out in a whole host of ways that is President Putin's reaching out. Can you believe this? It's all about ego. The thin man in the White House wanted to destroy Putin because Putin's a better man than him. Stronger, wiser, certainly more nationalistic and protective of his own people than this creature in the White House. And so he gets these screeching sorority girls to boast how they're destroying Russia and how Putin is coming on his hands and knees to beg Obama. Do you believe a word of that? Do you actually believe a word of that? Is it important to you? It's certainly more interesting to me than Trump's tax plan Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Extra, extra, hear all about it. Chinese aircraft carrier joins Russia-Iran military buildup in Syria. Not reported by the media. Welcome to the program. That's all I'm talking about right now. Russia and China and Iran as allies to take down ISIS while we do nothing to take down ISIS and the, uh, the the charlatan in chief gets away with it because of people who have very low IQs to begin with and zero critical sense, no integrity whatsoever, and certainly no love of, of, of America. And that's what I'm talking about. It's that simple. 855-400-728. Do you agree with me that ISIS is the number one threat on the planet? Do you agree with me that that's the number one crisis in our time? Now, what does the Pope have to do with this? What does the blood moon have to do with this? Well, I'll let you figure it out. There are mystics, there are psychics, there are others who can tell you what this has to do with anything. But the arrival on the scene of the first non-European Pope in 1,200 years triggered, signaled to me something strange was going to be happening in our world. And boy, something happened last week that was very strange. Otherwise, intelligent conservatives joined the mass hysteria, afraid to say one word critical of the Pope. But I exposed the Pope's hidden agenda in my book, Government Zero, long before he arrived here, because it's no secret. His agenda was not a secret. He's been writing about it and politicizing his agenda for years. The man is known as a left-wing uh, pol politician came from Peronist uh, Argentina, came here and lectured us as though he was uh, that fellow from, uh, I don't know his name, Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders with papal robes. Same thing. Read the street wealth, open your borders, uh, you're dirty, your nation stinks, you owe the, uh, the native peoples of the earth, uh, whatever, we heard it before. So they teach your poor children on college campuses. Yeah, well, anyway, it's all in my book, Government Zero. But that's not the point of this little monologue. 
The point is, is that the Pope came here at the very same time China was moving an aircraft carrier into Syria, and nobody in the media noticed it. Nobody's even talking about it today. What are they talking about today? Trump's tax plan. Well, it's a great plan, but it's a year from now. We don't know if he's going to be here in a year. Hope he is. Hope he wins. Hope he puts his tax plan in. How can I talk about that today when I'd rather talk in real time about what's actually happening as opposed to what might happen a year from now? By the way, it'd be a year and a half from now. So let's get some calls in. Steve on WMAL. What's on your mind, Steve? How you doing, Mr. Savage? Uh, first off, I'd like to say first-time caller. Um, I'm a Christian, conservative, and I'm a little concerned. Um, as far as what's going on overseas with China being there and everything, um, my concern is, is you know, I do a little bit of research my own, on my own, trying to figure things out. And um, a lot of the things that I'm seeing you know, could be very wrong, um, but it appears like we're not necessarily at war with ISIS as much as we're at war possibly with Russia and China and ISIS and leading into what could be World War III. Wait, wait, wait. You, you just got mixed everything together. We're, we're at war with Russia where? Um, the, the, that's the thing about it is a lot of the stuff I'm seeing. Steve, 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 let's, let's cut to the chase. Give me the simple point. What's your main point? I guess I'm, I'm looking for um, confirmation as far as what you feel as far as World War Three and who's really with us and who's against us. And then I, well, I, well, I do know this is that we're not against ISIS, as I pointed out for an hour in the last hour. We are not fighting ISIS. Wouldn't you agree with that? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Okay. That's why ISIS is burning churches and killing Christians, enslaving Christian girls, raping Christian girls. Would you say we're at war with them? No, they've metastasized under Obama, the anti-Christian president. So that's piece number one. So he's let ISIS metastasize. They've grown to be such a grave threat that even China and Russia are joining with Iran to take them out. Doesn't that tell you something? Well, see, that's my, that's, I guess, what my big question is, is are they really joining to take them out or are they joining to take us out? That's my concern. And I know it sounds conspiracy theorist. Um, I'm not trying to... Well, I mean, what do you mean us out? Are we really there? What part of us is there? Uh, I, from what I can tell, no, nothing. We're, we're not there at all. Uh, well, no, we have aircraft, but they're sitting and doing nothing or flying meaningless sorties, by and large. They're doing nothing. I don't think that the intent of, uh, uh, on the part of China and Russia is to engage in a war with the United States forces. And you know and I know Obama doesn't want that to happen. So I wouldn't worry about that at all. Okay. But stay on the line. I'm going to send you Government Zero, my book that's coming out in about four weeks. It explains an awful lot of this stuff. And I don't want to read it uh, today. I'm not ready for that. I want to stick to the news. It's that simple. It's an interesting question, though. Now, what I want to do is this. On Friday, because the Pope was in New York City, and he gave a speech uh, before the UN, and then he went on to Madison Square Garden, the show was preempted by the Pope's visit. And I made some very strong points on Friday that most of the nation heard. But unfortunately, listeners on WABC did not hear them. Well, we created a small summary of my main points, which we're going to play for you right now on The Savage Nation. The same day the Pope speaks before the UN, and we know what the UN is, anti-American to the core. And the same day, Boehner wakes up and decides he's resigning. Resigning. And McConnell, of course, salutes Spainer. The Pope is, is old already. I, I, I can't wait till he leaves the country. I can't take it anymore. The entire nation is in a mass hysteria. You know, this is not a mass, but mass hysteria. Do you see what's going on? It's, it's like a mass hysteria over this bouncer. And a man called my show today had the nerve to say to me that he sees things from a higher plane than I do. Do you know who used to use that rhetoric? That's a medieval view of the average man, that the religious people have a, a high, they function on a higher plane than we do. Kings function on a higher plane than we do. They see things more divinely than we do. It's utterly unbelievable to me to put up with this, but this is what's happening in America today. And how he could speak uh, before the joint session of Congress was a mystery to me until I learned that it was John Boehner himself who brought the Pope here. That's another one of his great accomplishments, is bringing the Pope to bust down the walls between church and state.
and impose this naked Leninist doctrine upon all of us. 